Jody. Uh, after I'm on at full time, the game's decided on penalties here at Maidstone in the second round of the FA Trophy. What are your thoughts on today? Uh, first and foremost, um, to come here and, uh, and put in the kind of display we, we did with the character we showed today, uh, at what is always a tough place to come, always a, a vociferous crowd. Throw the conditions in, throw current form into it. It was a, it was a performance full of personality, and it shows everyone that we've got the minerals to get out of the situation we're in in the league. It shows everyone that the boys are on side. The boys that were here today were working very, very hard for one another and for our crowd and for our football club. And um, it was the 89th minute, wasn't it? It was, you know, 89th minute. We're still one 0 up, and. Um, unfortunately, we, we kept Joanne Luque, one of the, the best players in the league. I think that's his 12th goal of the season. Uh, we kept him quiet the whole game. Tariq Hines done a great job on him, quite a man for man. Kept him off that right foot and unfortunately in the 89th minute he showed his quality and got the goal and uh, that took it to penalties and, and it is a bit of a lottery and unfortunately we, we come out on the wrong side of it. Conditions were against us in that first half, weren't we? How vital do you think getting that early goal was to stay in the game as long as we did? Um, we, we wanted to be hard to beat, um, but we knew that uh, we could attract their full backs out and leave their centre halves isolated in a 2v2 situation. So, so what happened is what we wanted to happen. We drew. You know, Hoyt and uh, Ben and Williams were out. Uh, and Webbs was able to break against their two centre halves and uh, took his goal well and won nil up. And yeah, but, you know it was early in the game, maybe a little bit too early to be honest, because I think for a little while we sunk a little bit too deep. But I'm not going to criticise anyone. The you know uh, the first three or four weeks at the club and, and, and previously this season, I've looked at the footage and there's been there's been some soft goals conceded. That weren't the case today. Bodies on the line, big blocks, good one v one defending, and. Uh, it looked like they weren't going to score, it looked like they weren't going to break us down. So it was a long way to hold because uh, we scored so early. But, um, well, as we know, we were one minute away from doing so. Is there a lot to build on from today that we can apply in the upcoming games, especially against Dartford next week? Well, I mean, last week we played fifth in the table in Hampton and Richmond and we kept them pretty quiet. This week we played third in the table and we've kept them pretty quiet. And it doesn't get any easier, we've got to play top of the league and uh, we're going to have to work even harder, we're going to have to have a good week and, and try and keep them quiet. Um, we're, we're, we're a team in transition, everyone knows there's lots of changes that are, are going on, some by choice, some not so much by choice, but um, I feel as though we're accumulating a, a, a group of people that want to work hard, that confidence is growing week by week. Um, we see last week as a narrow 1-0 defeat against Hampton and we see this week as a 1-1 draw away at Maidstone. Yep, yeah, alright, we lost on penalties, but we've come here and over the 90 minutes we, we've equaled them. So, um, We'll grow from that and we'll take that into Dartford. We know it's going to be unbelievably tough, but we go there and we believe that we can keep them quiet as well, but we're going to have to be at our absolute best. Now, Josh Wright, he was announced uh, during the week, which is obviously a massive addition to his squad, and also um, he's going to be appointed to the coaching staff. You put him in straight into the team today. How do you think he did? Yeah, I thought he'd done well. He, he tired and I, I never wanted him to have to play 90 minutes. Um, but having to make the substitution at half time with Aaron Akuma's hamstring, it made it very hard to then take Josh off during the game for, for, for his experience, but also just for the shape of the team. I, I needed him out there. Um, yeah, I thought he equipped himself well. Um, uh, he'll get better and better. Uh, he's a good addition to us, he's a good personality, um, he's, a, he's a man in the way he goes about his business, uh, that's a little bit of a cliche but you know he's a, he's a grown up and we've got some young players so he, he, he brings leadership, um, he brings experience but, but he brings quality, he, he kept the ball well for us today and he broke up play well so um, I had every confidence in throwing him into the starting lineup, and, and, and he proved to me that it was the right decision. And finally um, Clark Masters made his debut today as well. Uh, after being brought in uh, quite quickly. What did you make of his performance? Well, listen, first and foremost, let's address the situation because I'm hearing lots and lots of uh, whispers and talk and speculation and uh, people are sending me screenshots of nonsense that's on, on social media. Um, Bailey, Bailey opted to leave the club. Bailey contacted me uh, a couple of hours before training on Tuesday and said that he was leaving the club as of that moment. Um, I'm disappointed in that played him every minute of every game, 
Um, yes, we brought in competition, we brought in other goalkeepers to train because we felt that that was important. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I don't know what the speculation is, but Bailey decided to leave and I wish him well. He did well for Billericay, he's a good shot stopper um, and I'm sure he'll go and get another good club. And with it being the FA Trophy, it's extremely hard to get a keeper in at short notice because they're either cup tied uh, and, loan, and loans are hard because clubs don't want their goalkeepers to get cup tied. So it was a really tough situation. Um, Jim Stannard, we're really fortunate to have him on the staff, experienced goalkeeper, knows lots of other experienced goalkeepers, managed to pull Clark Masters in, um, and he showed all his experience. I, th I think he, he, you know, you'll agree with me, I thought he was excellent today. Um, his, his management of the game, kicking against the wind was really, really hard, but uh, when he had to catch a cross, a couple of times he had to make saves, he made saves. He, he's talking, his bravery, he's made a penalty save in the shootout. I loved his personality, he's walked in the building and I loved his personality and he, he's done us a massive favour coming in today um, at such short notice and you know there'll be a conversation to be had with him now going forward but uh, I was really pleased with what he brought to the team today and I you know, used that opportunity as well, we didn't have Charlie Lee today, he's really struggling with his back, Charlie's been outstanding for us in the last three or four games. We were missing him today. Laurie Wilson came back into the team after a bit of a layoff, not being in the side. And I thought he stepped up and I thought he was outstanding today. I thought his energy and his leadership was really, really important for us. So, so many positives to come from today. Um, you know, least not to mention Terry Kynes and Toby King having to take penalties in front of the, the Maidstone home support. These are young boys that haven't played senior football. So, to step up and score those penalties, great learning curve for them. So many positives today. Obviously we went out, but I'd be lying if I said that the trophy was high up on my priorities. We, we know we're in a relegation battle. Uh, when we came into the club, we were bottom of the league, and yet we're still bottom of the league. Um, but we feel as though we're starting to go in the direction we want to go in, and, and our focus is getting off the bottom of the league and, uh, and putting results together and performances together and climbing the table. Today was just a great opportunity for us to, to continue our progress. Um, Regardless of the fact we've gone out on penalties, I'm, I'm very proud of the performance today because I saw character that I wasn't seeing the first three or four weeks that I was here. I saw big hearts, big character, big desire to do well for this football club.